Welcome. Hey, Gravel Hunter here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to have an installation of Windows 7 inside your USB flash drive. This will be perfect for your netbook users that just decide to upgrade Windows 7, but you guys obviously don't have a CD drive. So this will be perfect for you guys that have a netbook. This will also work on desktops, and this will also work on regular laptops as well. All right, so we'll just get right to it. Um, what you need is a computer that obviously has a CD drive. We're going to need a Windows 7 installation disk, and we're going to need a flash drive that's 4 gigabytes and higher. And you also have to make sure that there's nothing inside that flash drive because once we do this entire process, everything inside is going to be erased. The only thing that's going to be there is what we're going to transfer after we have everything set up. Okay? So let's just get started here. And this little notepad is going to be all the commands that we're going to be using inside the command prompt. So that way we can have the USB set up for the Windows 7 installation. Alright, so just follow along and everything should be A-OK -okay once we're done. So to get started, just type and search CMD. And then we're going to go ahead and right click on that and hit run as administrator. Let's hope you have that right because if not, you will run into problems. Alright, so the first command we're going to put down is disk part. Let that load up. Alright, so once you see the directory disk part at the very beginning, we're going to go ahead and list all the disks that we have inside our computer. So we're going to put list disk. Alright, so as you can see on mine, I have six. And the status, I only have three online. And all the sizes as you see here, two of them are in gigabytes, so I know for a fact that these are my hard drive. One is in megabytes, and if you round this megabyte up, it will be 8 gigabytes, which is what I have as my flash drive. So I know for a fact that lit disk 6 is my flash drive. Alright, so make sure that the disk you're going to be running is the flash drive, because if not, you can run into a lot of bad problems, okay? So we're going to go ahead and select the, the disk that I'm going to be using. So type in select disk 6. Okay, so the disk 6 is now selected. I'm going to go ahead and clean it. It's clean. Then we're going to go ahead and type down create. Ooh, that was horrible. Let me do that over. So I just typed down create partition primary. Alright, so we just created our partition. Excuse that. I hit the up key. If you hit the up key, it'll bring up the last command that you put in. So after that, we put down select partition 1. What we're doing right now is selecting the partition that we just created inside the flash drive. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and activate it. So we just put that active. All right, and after that, we're going to go ahead and format the flash drive. Now, this is the part where I told you to make sure that nothing's inside your flash. Yeah, excuse me, flash drive, because this is going to be a basic guarantee that everything's going to be gone in it once we run this command. So anyways, the command you're supposed to put down next is format fs equals ntfs space quick. Alright, so we hit enter and it's going to start formatting. Now, if you do run into problems for any god-given reason, try to do the same command except without the word quick. So you will put down format fs equals ntfs. That's it. That's just in case if you do run into problems that for any reason it doesn't format. Because um, the quick that's in front of that command um, is what makes it format faster. So once you have that set up, like mine's, and it's successfully formatted, we're going to go ahead and assign the partition, I mean the flash drive. Once we assign it, it should like be active. Like mine's right here, you see I have autoplay running, so this window just popped up right behind it. So I know it's active. Okay, so once we do that, we're going to go ahead and type down exit, but we do not want to physically turn off the command prompt, or excuse me, close the window. We want to keep this open because we're still going to need it. All right, so after that, once you put all those commands in, we have to make sure which 
CD drive letter has the Windows 7 installation disk. Now this one right here, mine is marked as D and this is the Windows 7 installation disk here. And we're also going to need to remember the letter of our flash drive. Mine is L. Yours could be different. So just make sure. As you can see here in my case, CD drive is D, flash drive is letter L. Alright? So the first command we put is going to be the letter of the CD drive, which mine is D. Okay, so we put that and then we put CD boot. If that shows up, then that means you're inside the directory and then we put CD boot again. And after that, we put down boot sec dot exe slash nt six zero space the letter of your flash drive, which I'm going to show you guys again, so you guys won't get confused. After you put this little command in boot sec dot exe slash nt six zero, you're going to have to put a space and you're going to have to put the letter of your flash drive, which in my case is L. So I would put L. So I put L, and then I put these two little dots. After that, once you hit enter, if you, the boot MGR has been updated inside your flash drive, like what happened here, target volume will be updated with boot MGR compatible boot code, and that means your thing is set, you have the right volume, and it's successfully updated with the NTFS partition. So we're good. We are ready to have all the files in from the CD to the flash drive. So we're going to go ahead and close it or you can type down exit. Wouldn't really matter. So after this, what we got to do is I'm going to go close this right here. I will leave all these commands in the description for you guys. Um, just go ahead and open up your computer. We're going to go ahead and right click on this on the CD drive and hit open. All right, so we have a window for that. And then we're going to go on, open another window and we're in this one that we're going to open the flash drive as you can see there's nothing there because we formatted it from earlier what we do after that we're going to go ahead and highlight all of this every single file that's inside the cd drive and we're going to go ahead and drag it in the flash drive once this completes you have a nice beautiful legit copy of windows 7 running inside the usb now to turn it on if you guys don't know um, it will all depend on which computer you have for example, in my case, I have an Asus computer. And when I turn on my computer, it'll show up Asus, nice and beautiful. And on the bottom of it, it'll show you all these little buttons. One of them should say boot menu next to one of those buttons. In my case, it's F8. So on the bottom, it will say F8 for boot menu. If I push F8, it'll show this list of all these hardware pieces that I can turn on, which is, for example, I can tell Asus to turn on the CD drive first if I wanted to, or in this case, the flash drive, because that's what we want. So once you see your boot list, you want to make sure you click the flash drive. Once you click it, it should start running like if it's a regular installation CD. Alright, so I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. You guys can go ahead and leave a comment, you know, subscribe. I love to read comments, so...